Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we're doing a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio is all about you, it's all about the Scorpios today. Now before we get started, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload. And please note that the Tarot Instagram page is in the description box below and the link in my um, YouTube bio, right? And, along, and my cash app is also in the description box as well for whenever you're ready for a personal reading, okay? Now without further ado, let's get started. Again, I hope you guys are having I hope you guys are having a good morning, noon, and night. Okay. I hope all is well, but if all is not well, I do apologize. You know, I hope your situation gets better. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and draw ten cards for the Scorpio. Okay. Now I know I usually no, I know I said fifteen cards is usually a daytime thing. You know, 15 cards is a daytime thing, and then 10 cards is a nighttime thing. But then I realized something. It's my sh it's my channel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's my channel. I can do whatever I want. I just realized that. Oh, my God. I just got wrapped up in the thing. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. 10 cards. Just a quick reading. You know, I like. I know you guys like it when I cut to the chase and get to the point. You know. Okay. So Scorpio, our first card says the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Right. Now you, as a person, Scorpio, you are very independent. Right? You are very independent. You don't really rely on anybody. You know, you're very flexible. You know, you're very um, intelligent. Right? You know, you may not always make the smartest decisions, but you are very book smart. Okay? And you know how to take care of yourself and do this and that. Okay? So you know how to th make things happen on your own. The Six of Swords. Okay? You know, you're very confident. Okay? You like, you make progress you like to make progress you know you never sit you never sit in one place for too long okay because you, you feel like there are moves there, there's move to be made okay you never just stand around or do nothing okay you actually like to make yourself productive and actually like to make progress okay okay even if it means you know people think like oh you know you're always working well I mean well you know I mean working does get you paid okay it does the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? But I'm seeing here that even though you work a lot, it causes, um, what do you call it, at-home conflict, okay? Because it seems like people, like, it's like people, um, get very, like, frustrated or annoyed that you're always working and you don't seem to feel like, you don't, they, don't, they feel like you're not making enough effort to spend time with your family, Okay, or your or your friends, either one, but I think the family is more important, right? Okay, so they feel like you're just kind of like neglecting them, and that you're not really making much effort to, um, what do you call it? Spend time with them. Okay, this is how they feel. Okay, the hierophant. Okay, now Scorpio, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what you should and should not do. Okay, because this card is telling me here. That you just need to trust your intuition, okay? Trust what you think is the right thing to do, okay? I can't tell I, I, I can I can't tell you what to do, Scorpio. You know? You're your own person at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, you come here to watch this reading to see about your situation or your future, your love life. But at the end of the day, even if I when I do these readings, you guys are really gonna do what you wanna do. Right? All I can do is throw my two cents. Right? So this card is saying here, whatever you wanna do, okay. Regardless of the situation, just trust your intuition, okay? Because at the end of the day, you're gonna still do, you're gonna do whatever you want to do, but don't think that it won't have consequences. The Nine of Wands, all right. I'm seeing here the situation is also testing your faith and your resilience, okay? Because they feel like 
um, you purposely neglect them. Like you feel like work is more important than quality time. Okay. Like this is, this is how they feel. They feel like you don't care enough to spend time with them. Okay. The queen of wands, right? You know, and it's so ironic too, because on the outside, when you leave to go home in public, right? You're this confident, happy, you know, per person, okay? When you leave and go home and socialize with other people, okay? You're really chill. You really just do your own thing, right? You really do your own thing. And you just do whatever, you know, you feel to do, okay? But you hide these at-home problems, okay? Because you, like, you don't like to, um, what do you call it, have people in your business or in your drama, okay? So you keep your at-home problems at home and your at-work problems at work. Okay. The page of wands. Okay. All right. They want to try new things. Okay. And they want to see you more. Okay. They want to see you more. Right. But you're so busy, maybe in the office or in the hospital or in the law enforcement business, you know, whatever you do for a job that takes up a lot of your time. Okay. They feel like, you know, you could take a day off just to hang, just chill out with them. Okay. To spend time with them. Right. You know, they feel like one day isn't going to hurt every now and again. Okay. The page of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So I'm seeing here that no progress is being made with this situation. So Scorpio, maybe you're just being stubborn. Okay. Or maybe you're on, or maybe you're set in your own ways where you feel like nothing is wrong. Like you feel like this person is just being really needy and clinging. Right. All right. But mind yourself, Scorpio. Okay. That even though work is important. Okay. Even though work get does get you paid and all that other stuff. Right. It's still important to be able to balance your time and spend time with the people you love. Okay. Because you can, because you can get a job anywhere, right? But family and quality time is something that can just never go away, right? And you don't want your partner to go away, huh? Okay? The Five of Pentacles, okay? Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm seeing here that you have suffered a major financial loss, okay? A major financial loss is happening here. Okay? So maybe you got laid off at work, you know, or maybe, you know, they cut your paycheck in half over due to circumstances, right? Or maybe, or just, or maybe somebody hacked your bank account, right? Or maybe you got fired at your job, whatever the case may be. Okay? You've suffered a financial loss. So now you're kind of, you got struck with a little poverty. Oh, wow. Okay, so now all you really got is your family now. Okay, now let's see what they're going to say. The last card says the four of cups in the reverse. Okay, so your family, right? They feel like this, I mean, well, one, they, are, they do feel for you. They do feel bad for you that you lost your money and all that stuff. But they actually feel like this is a little bit of karma. Okay, because you've been neglecting your family or neglecting your friends or neglecting your partner, right? Like you've been putting work, you've been prioritizing work ahead of everyone else, right? But even though they feel for you, they feel like this is they, this is your karma, okay? But regardless of what will be going on, regardless of the situation, they're still going to have your back. So it's okay to move on from this and it's okay to build back up from this, okay, Scorpio? So Scorpio, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope I helped in any way. I hope I brought knowledge or enlightenment on the situation. But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully the next Scorpio reading will. But in the meantime, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload. This has been the Universe, Terry. Namaste. Mm -hmm.